Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a brand new episode of my Pokemon Platinum Egglock. In the last episode we ventured forth from Jubilife City to the north this time. We made it through the Ravage Path where we caught a Zubat which we'll be able to swap for an egg. Um, but we also unfortunately um, we went to the east of Floroma Town where we are now um, and we failed to catch a Buizel at the Valley Windworks. But that's okay because we slathered some honey on a tree and that's going to pay dividends for us in the future i'm sure um in the floroma meadow but right now we got the works key so we are ready to um head back to the windworks to try and save papa papa needs saved and we are going to be that person um let i'm gonna switch it up a bit Papadom is still not ready to do the business, but I'm going to put Spinach out first with um, Basil up beside him. Um, yeah, and then we've got Quavers and we've got Candy Floss in the background. So here is where we fail to catch Buizel. Um, I am going to get this Pokeball because that makes sense. It's a potion. Um, we're all good for... I'm all right with Candy Floss being slightly down on the health. Um, is there anything up here? Oh, there's an item over there. We must need to surf to get that. So, unfortunately, we cannot catch this Shinx. This Shinx is out of bounds to us. Um, we could battle it, but we're going to run away instead. Um, I wonder, yeah, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, we're, we're getting in. What are you talking about? Of course we're getting in. We're taking you on. Um... Yeah, I, I wonder if Spinach might struggle with these Pokemons, but wow, 13. And we're only level 14. This could get um, a bit more tricky, kind of, kind of quick. Growl lowers our attack, so this um, Bullet Seed's going to do much less than it would normally. Oh man, oh man, Spinach is it's going like going through treacle here. I'm glad me I'm just eating it up. We're going to need to switch. Um, and I think we're going to switch to Quavers. We're going to use some Thunder Shocks on this bad boy. You can go for the Growl. That's okay. Because we are going to be special attacking with Thunder Shock. Um, so these Growls aren't doing nothing to us, Glamio. We have the power of Thunder on our side. Um, and you will go down pretty much in one hit. Oh, Hypnosis as well. Whoa, Glamio is scary. Um, and I know it's evolution. Um, Perugly is really scary as well. Um, I wonder if we should just rock it with Quavers. Um, and let's not mess around um, with Spinach. Unfortunately, I think it's just going to be a bit too much um, of a grind. Mate, you can go inside as much as you want. I have the key. I have the key to the door. Um... You know, a Poppadon would be really good if it manages to strengthen those stats um, to take on all those poison types. What? No way! You have the key? Locking the door was meaningless. I am the loser in this after all. This is no time for self-pity. I've got to alert the commander. Whoa, okay, commander. Whoa, we need to be prepared for that. That is going to be a candy floss, floss fight. Um, okay, let's go. Let's continue. We gotta save Papa. This is all for Papa. Papa needs saved. Um, but please use as many Zubat as you can because I am more than happy to use a Thunder Shock um, to take you down. I really wonder if after we've done this um, and we maybe hatch an egg or two, um, that we should get our team up to get them up a couple of levels, maybe to 16 or 17. Um, just because these guys are. You can always feel it when the trainers are getting kind of close to your level and you figure, hmm, maybe I need some more some more power on our team. Okay, but it looks like we're nearly at the commander already. So they're collecting electricity. They want the honey to be able to gather Pokemon together in big numbers. Um, another Glammy at level 11. It's much more reasonable. I guess when they've only got one Pokemon, it is likely to be a higher level, closer to yours. Um, it's not so bad when they've got a full team and the levels are reduced a little bit and you can deal with it a bit better. Um, yeah, wow. Quavers is really benefiting from that evolution. Um, yeah, so we're, I guess we're halfway from an Ampharos would be an absolute dream if we managed to keep Quavers along for that long. Um, 
And really, for I know one of the gyms is um, water. Um, we're really, really well set up for that with Quavers and with Basil and Spinach if we keep Spinach. Spinach is still someone in our party that I could see us feasibly swapping out and swapping someone else in um, just to have that variation in our party. Um, yeah, I wonder. Poppadom. I don't know if it's just the one Poppadom we've got. Um, the pop the bronzer we've got, Poppadom is the name of our bronzer. Um, that it's um, its attacking power is very limited, which might just be bronzer in general. Um, but we'll see how that plays out if we level up a bit more to see, because we really need um, every team member to be on board and supporting us through this journey. Um, I'm gonna keep Quavers out, and I'm gonna go for the potion. Um, just in case so we are ready to go. Um, I think I might use one on candy floss or do we have an orange berry? Um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna use an orange berry on candy floss. So we've got her in reserve. And you know what? I'm gonna give I'm gonna give a pesha berry to quavers and a chesto berry to candy floss just so we've got some, um, and you know what, I'm going to go all out. I'm going to give Spinach something as well. Um, so our four key team members at the moment um, all have something to help them out. Let's see what this guy, commander, guy or gal is all about. I'm one of Team Galactic's three commanders. No, wait, that's one of four commanders. My name is Mars. We've been trying to create a new world that's better than this one people have shown little understanding about what we do. You don't understand either, do you? It's a little saddening. So let's have a battle to decide what we should do next. If I win, you leave. If you win, we, Team Galactic, will leave. Wow, okay, that was very measured. Putting it all down to a Pokemon battle with someone you've never met before, Mars? All right. And you've got a Zubat, level 15. We have a Quavers, who's level 16 and has the power of thunder. Whoa, toxic. Did we give a pressure Berry to Quavers? Did we give one? We did. <laughs> Whoa. I imagine it's not going to matter all that much because we are super effective, but that was pretty cool. That was pretty cool in and of itself. I wonder if it'll toxic again. No, it goes for bite. So, wow, we avoided any dealings with the toxic with that pesha berry that was pretty cool <laughs> well if we done around the wrong way uh, like the other way and given quavers the well here comes a perugly okay let's be on our guard you know what i'm so glad that we had that pesha berry now let's start with 17 thunder wave fake out man okay how much is this doing whoa okay static okay that's fine it's like we did our move. Um, let's heal. Let's heal once again. We're gonna be careful. We have five potions. Let's not be. Let's not be rash. Really glad we got the static. Wow. I was not expecting Perugly so quickly. I thought we had a while before. It's paralyzed. It can't move. Good. We're in the right position in terms of Pokemon. I'm gonna go for the Growl. Lower its attack because Perugly has really high attack. Nice, okay, so glad we still got Growl. Faint attack, let's see how much we're doing. Um, I think this is Stab. I think it is a Dark type. Wow, really glad we used Growl. Let's go for the Thunder Shock. We can still use another potion if we need to. Um, okay, that was a critical hit. Man, it's defensive, it's sky high. I'm gonna go for another Growl. Um, just to reduce the amount of damage we, we're, we're getting hit with. Okay, you know, I feel like I almost want to switch out. I am going to switch out, you know what, because the Growls are in effect for Perugly. Candy Floss is going to come in um, with full HP, higher HP than Quaver does in terms of max HP. Yes, the Static. Man, that was good. Let's hit the returns. Let's go. Hopefully, we can two hit at least. Yes. Okay. Has it got a berry? Okay, it's got an Oran berry. We're going to be borderline for whether we can take it out. Um, we're all right with the scratches. We can even take um, a critical hit. Come on, return. Nice roll. Oh, really close. Hopefully Mars doesn't decide to use a potion. We're still okay. 
Let's go for the return. Yes, no heal. We take down the Perugly. That was good teamwork. That was good preparation. We adapted when the situation got tough. Quaver's level 17. Nice. Candy Floss to get a whole bunch of experience as well. Um, yes, man, that was good. I was not expecting. Because I know Perugly and um, the evolution of the skunk Pokemon, um, they become a big deal. Um, they become tricky later on, but we took them down. My, my, lose to a child, will you? But no matter, we've collected plenty of electricity. With the power we obtained, we can do something quite spectacular. It seems obvious to me, Sharon. The genius even the boss recognizes. Now, Mars, we should be going. W will you shut it? The boss is the only person in the world who's allowed to order me around. You can keep quiet around me. You only joined us recently. Don't think you're important. I guess it's time to say goodbye and leave for the time being. Whoa. Man. Whoa. I'm glad that we did so well. I was, like, when the Perugly came out and it was level 17, I thought we might be in danger, but everything worked out with equipping the berries was such a good idea. Um, yeah, and um, getting the static when we got um, the fake out, that was really good as well. Being able to still use Growl, swap into... Um, candy floss um, really good a balloon Pokemon oh yeah that's how you catch them Drifloon um, are you okay I think I'm glad we saved Papa we did it the balloon Pokemon will come again the Valley Windworks is made safe we did it we did it oh my word look her Ah, yes, it is you. Yes, I've heard that the Team Galactic appeared at this power plant. I have, therefore, come running. So, the Team Galactic, where are they? You have run them off, you say, but you are our trainer, but... Very well, I shall go investigate inside. Wow, okay. Oh, is he coming back? I think he is. I can't move, okay. Magnificent! Yes, it is! What you have said, it is all true! Superb! Though you are young, you are a trainer through and through. Very well, I shall pursue the culprits. I have received tips that a Team Galactic hideout is in Eternia City. To there, I must be off. Okay, Looker is on his way. So yeah, I think it is Eternia City, where I was thinking that you first encountered Perugly um, and a stun, stun Tank as well. I think that's what the... Evolution of Stunky is called. Um, Stunky is a fun name for a Pokemon. Um, but yeah, let's uh, heal. Um, wow, yeah, so we we did it. That was good. That was good. Again, Synergy working in our team. Understanding that Spinach was going to be struggling. Because if we'd gone out with Spinach um, in that battle, it would have been tricky. We would have been up against it if you're kind of having to switch in. But we were able to do it um, really effectively. Um... So, I'm going to put Candy Floss out front. I understand we can still... I'm going to go back onto Route 205. There's no grass on this side. But I'm assuming on the other side, yep, there is some grass for us here. I am going to try and encounter something here. So that we, with the Ravage Path, we have two eggs that we can hatch. So here is a Shalos. I am not going to make the same mistake as I did before. I'm going to use Sing and then just chuck Pokeballs. That's what I'm going for. No messing around. Nothing, nothing weird this time. No trying to um, whittle it down health-wise. Still has nothing left. Let's just go for the Pokeball. Hopefully we get it first time. Let's go. Okay. Nope, that's not first time. That is anything but first time. Um, yeah, come on. Let's just go again. Let's just go again. We could always switch into Poppadom because the confusion is certainly not going to do enough. That's one. That's two. That's three. Nice, Shellos. Nice, nice, nice. That is a success on Route 205, and we caught a level 9 Shellos. Add it to the Pokedex, baby. Added in the sea slug. It is now ours. We will not give a nickname, but what we will do is we will run back to our wonderful PC um, and we will hatch some eggs. Let's go. Um, so at the moment, I will pop Bronzor, Popadom, and Lobster into the PC um, and I will take out our two eggs and we will get set on hatching them. Um, so move Pokemon. Um, so. 
just to look again back on box four, poor Coco Pops, by, um, is it herself? I think I said his self in a per previous episode. I feel bad. I should try and get those right. Um, so Mushrooms is still okay. Mushrooms is just an extra team member we have. Um, so Papadom, I'll do it, I'll do it like this. Um, yeah, and Lobster. Um, so these are all Pokemon we can use if we want to. These guys are active members. Um, I'll put Papadom up front because Papadom... I guess this is the order in terms of how close they've gotten to our team. But anyway, we have to get two more eggs. Um, we're taking quite a lot from that box. So let's stick with box um, two. And for this third Zubat... Oh, I kind of want to keep the Zubat train going. You know what? I think I might. This one. We're going with this egg. Nice. And Shellos. Um, top right top right I'm leaving that middle row um, I don't know why I think there's something about it something really good or something really bad but anyway ladies and gentlemen I will be back when I've hatched both of these wonderful eggs which are guaranteed to be amazing Pokemon that will join our team <laughs> alright folks our first egg is about to hatch let's see what awaits us? Hoping, hoping it's something fun. It's... It's a Zubat. It is a Zubat. I'm think... I don't know why I'm thinking Smarty? <laughs> Smarties? Smarties, the Zubat. Wow, okay. I don't know. I was hoping for something a little more, maybe. But that's okay. You know what? We don't have a flying type. Um, we're going to be running around to hatch all a bunch of eggs. So we've already seen with Igglybuff into um, Jigglypuff that if we keep Smarties in our party, um, it'll be able to gain happiness real quickly. It can't flinch and it knows leech life. Really important point, can it learn pluck right now? Can it do it? Because having this as a move would be real cool. It can. Very good to know. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna hatch um, another egg and see what happens. What might be good with Smarties is that even if it doesn't go in now, um, if it's a later in the game and it can immediately we can immediately level it up into gold bat that might be really cool because then we can just run about a bunch and go straight for the crow bat and being able to come in straight with a crow bat that would be really really cool starting off with the zoo bat not as good um but we can see with that anyway i'm gonna go hatch our second egg Alrighty, egg number two let's see what we have we have smarties the zoo bat and now we have Poliwag the Poliwag! Yes! Yes! Nice! Oh, yes, that's awesome. Um, Poliwag. Whoa, what do I want to call you? Um, whoa, Poliwag. Oh, that's awesome. Um, we are going to go for, um, Lollipop. Um, we're gonna go for Mackies. Mackies. Mackies is a type of ice cream because Poliwag, water, water becomes ice, ice, cream, Mackies, ice, cream, Mackies, the Poliwag. Boom, nailed it. Perfect nickname once again, proving that I am the best at nicknames in the world. Oh man, I am so, so happy with Poliwag. Water types are always an absolute dream to have. We have two HMs. Oh my word, we have three. <laughs> oh my word, we have Surf and Waterfall and Whirlpool and Water Sport. Oh my goodness. 
What did this come from? Damn, prevents combats from self-destructing. Mickey, me, Mackies, where did you come from? Wow, you must have been birthed from a HM slave. Wow, Mackies, that is awesome. Oh, water types is so good. Having surf already, that is the move I would teach any water type. And if it's not a special attacker, I would teach a waterfall as a um, physical attacker. Whoa, anyway. You know what, I think I'm ready to formulate what my team's going to be. I'm going to put Zubat back in the PC for just now. I do need to remember that the Zubat is um, our own Zubat. Um, and not want to be swapped with a PC. The nickname will help me. But I am putting Papadom back in the party. Um, because it's been too short a time for Papadom um, to really see what um, Papadom is going to bring to the table. Um... But wow, yes, water type, awesome surf. I can't believe that I didn't think I didn't think about moves at all when I made these eggs. Um, but that is great, um, and I really think if we can level up Poliwag and um, Poliwag Mackies can be part of the um, real deal main team really quickly. Um, and yeah, so I think this is the six to go with. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to level these guys up and we're going to continue on um, on our quest to get to Eternier Town um, next episode. I might be able to check um, the um, honey tree in the meadow and maybe, do you know how we went? We went east when we were in the Ravaged Path. We might be able to go west and there might be some routes there. Um, but I am so excited with the prospects of, ha of this team getting a water type. Cannot express how happy I am with that. Um... Just only having the two weaknesses, having electric and grass type as a weakness. Um, and hopefully, as we go, we'll be able to cover those weaknesses. Um, and then also having the electric type when you've just got a ground weakness. I love having Pokemon where your weaknesses are few. Um, and you can pack these really powerful punches um, with whether it's electric. Because electric affects a lot, being able to take down all those water types you go against and those flying types, two really common types. And then with water, you're able to get rid of every single rock in the place, every single ground type, every fire type. Um, and just water in general is good. We've got the grass to cover as well. And then we've got Jigglypuff and we've got Bronzor who could turn into something really cool. Um, and spinach as well man this is great really happy with that um ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching in the next episode we're gonna keep on on the trail to eternia city on the road to eternia city ready to go um i'm gonna level up these pokemon before next episode thank you so much for watching um and i'll see you next week take care